Welcome to the 80th anniversary of Red Rocks, everybody! Hello there, my name is Brett Saunders from 97.3 KBCO. I'm so happy you're here tonight. It's so exciting to be here. Isn't it strange being around other people? It's, it's a little disconcerting, isn't it? I don't know. It's surreal. It's so strange, but it's so beautiful to be here. And uh, maybe if you're not here with us in person, you're live streaming from home. Thank you for being with us. It's going to be a special celebration tonight, not just because we're back in this amazing venue, Red Rocks, but because of who's on stage tonight. These performers were selected because they represent the thousands of people who kept the music playing under the worst possible circumstances this past year. Health crises, closed venues, online, every one of them has a unique story. For instance, the gentleman you just saw on stage, Bob, or on the screen, Bob Spillman, a former CU music professor who was supposed to play a concert in Quebec and then COVID hit. So instead he hauled a portable keyboard onto the lawn of a senior living center in Boulder and he played. He was supposed to be here tonight, but in a reminder that COVID is still around, he is confined to a facility in Boulder. So he still made that video for us yesterday. Let's hear it for him in his performance of Chopin. Bob Spillman. He's going to end the performance tonight as well. In person, music is about to begin, and we're also honored to have the Colorado Emerald Society Pipes with us. Wow! They're firefighters, they're first responders. It's a long tradition of bagpipes being played during stressful times. This group has played at sunset all last year as a way of unifying communities all over Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear some more from the Colorado Emerald Pipes.
Yeah. The Emerald Society Pipes. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. We are at Red Rocks for the 8 o'clock howl coming up in about an hour. Did you know that Red Rocks was purchased in 1927 by the city of Denver for $50,000, which will currently feed a family of four with hot dogs at Coors Field? They're really good hot dogs, though. They're so good. I would like to bring out Denver's mayor, Michael Hancock, ladies and gentlemen. The mayor is accompanied by Ginger White tonight, who heads Denver Arts and Venues. Hiya! And representing employees of the city is Red Rocks venue manager, Tad Bowman, who's been with the city for nearly 30 years. Tad! Mayor, what was uh, your favorite show at Red Rocks? Make some noise, huh? What's, what's your favorite show at Red Rocks? Oh, man, I've seen so many shows up here. People like Stevie Wonder, uh, Dave Chappelle. We've seen some great shows up here. How y'all doing out there? Give it up for the Colorado Emerald Society one more time. There. How's it feel to be back at Red Rocks? Doesn't it feel good? We are so glad to be here. Now, most people don't know that this beautiful facility that's celebrating its 80th anniversary is owned by the city and county of Denver. But it's for all who come here to enjoy great music and great entertainment. Don't you agree? We have celebrated every year two million people coming through the gates to celebrate here at Red Rocks to enjoy great entertainment. Those bleachers you're sitting in, it took five years of men and women carving them out of rock so that you can enjoy concerts here at Red Rocks. This is one of the great wonders of our world right here at Red Rocks. And I'm glad you're here to celebrate the 80th anniversary. I want to thank Brett for introducing Ginger White, who is our Executive Director of Arts and Venues for the City of Denver. Give it up for Ginger. And a city employee for 34 years who is the manager of Red Rocks, of course, that's the incomparable Tad Bowman. So let me tell you why we're here, and we're going to get back to music. Why it's important for you to be here tonight? Because, as I said, two million people come through the gates to celebrate or to enjoy good entertainment here. But COVID interrupted all of that. All of a sudden, we had one million people holding tickets for shows that were canceled here at Red Rocks in 2020. Not only that, we had musicians who had no place to perform. And thousands of professionals who work in our concessions, do sound, lighting, our ushers, the backstage workers, had no job to come to. Red Rocks not only is a world-renowned venue, but it's great business for all of Colorado. And your presence here tonight says to our musicians and performers, to all the workers who make this place so unique, that we're back and we're ready to have a great time here at Red Rocks. And so as you enjoy the music tonight, not only do we want you to sway a little bit as you just did with the Colorado Emerald Society, not only do we want you to have a good time, but we want you to think about every one of those workers who are all so grateful to see you in these stands as we get ready to open up all of Colorado. Have a great summer, and we're going to rock it here at Red Rocks. Come on back and enjoy great entertainment. God bless you all. On behalf of the city of Denver, thank you for supporting our artists. Take care. All right. Is this really 2,500 people? It feels like more. Did anybody sneak in? Is it like that Jethro Tull concert back in 1970? We think of music just in terms of entertainment venues, right? But churches and houses of worship around the world have also been silenced by COVID, as you know. Representing those musicians tonight are three performers who performed online but in an empty church at Denver's Montview Presbyterian. Shane Ensley is an East High School grad. He's a great artist. One of my favorites, he's traveled the world as a jazz trumpeter. 
also a member of the great band Knee Body. This is actually his third appearance at Red Rocks. Also, Joe Folkey is a Grammy nominee and Dove Award winning vocalist, a Denver native. Joe is a graduate of Fisk U and an advocate for suicide prevention. Finally, Adam Waite is the musical director at Mount View. He's also a composer and he's worked on more than 40 Broadway shows. Remarkable. Together, their music speaks to many of the most quiet times of day and we're glad to welcome the three of them here to Red Rocks right now. Please welcome them. live music. Do you mind if I put you to work a little bit? If I say, whoa, can you do that? You can do better. Say, whoa. Come on. This song says, people keep on learning. Soldiers keep on warring. World keep on turning. Cause it won't be too long. Oh no. Powers keep on lying. While all of your people keep on dying, Whoa, keep on spinning, cause it won't be too long. No, no, no. So darn glad you let me try it again. Cause my last time on earth I lived a whole world of sin So glad that I know more than I knew then Gonna keep on trying Till I reach my highest ground oh. Lover Keep on loving believers, keep on believing sleepers, just stop sleeping, cause it won't be too long. No, no, no. Oh, 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 I'm so done. Let me try it again Cause my last time on earth I lived a horde of sin I'm so glad that I know more than I knew then Gonna keep on trying, climbing Till I reach my eyes Thank you. 
beautiful people. That's Shane Inslee and Adam Wade. I hope you all know that you matter. Do you know that? You can talk back to me. He told you we're, we're church people. We're used to that. Amen, all right, right. You matter, we matter. And you always have joy, you always have purpose. If you opened your eyes this morning, that means you are supposed to be here. Do you believe that? Yeah. And we call that joy, we count that as joy. So without any further ado, this is our last selection tonight. This is Count. Recognize that I can and I will. I am strong. This is real. So when it feels like my good ain't good enough, and when it seems like all my hope is lost, and when it feels the world is caving in. I must remember when I need a win so badly and it seems there isn't one in sight. I remember all the others. Close my eyes and trust God's time cause I can't.
God bless you all. Thank you. a bit, we're going to take a selfie. <laughs> yeah. ah. I'm so Thank sorry. you, Joe Folky. Thank you, Shane. Shane is going to be playing at Dazzle in May. Make sure you look for Shane Ensley. Also, thank you so much, Adam Waite. Appreciate you. That was great, huh? This night is just full of uh, ecstasy and joy. I love it. I like, your, uh, I like that line of Colorado hats, by the way. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. This is, this is weird for me, too. It really is, because I haven't done this in a while. Uh, our next performer, well, first off, she's getting married in three weeks, so that's, that's very exciting. No one saw the devastation of COVID more closely than the frontline workers in hospitals. Emily Wortham is one of those. As a frontline nurse with UC Health, she sang to her patients, and she's here to sing for you tonight, too. She wrote about what she saw during the pandemic, and she put it to music. Tonight, Emily sings for a crowd in a different setting, and one that is really grateful to hear her voice and the work that she does to protect us all. Please welcome Emily Wortham, ladies and gentlemen.
Cause you said forever, now I drive alone past your street. Yeah, you said forever, now I drive alone past your street. Thank you. Like 
California gold You found the light in me that I couldn't find So when I'm all choked up and I can't find the words Every time we say goodbye, baby, it hurts When the sun goes down and the band Okay. Hi, I'm back. Yeah. Hey, I want to try something before we get to our next uh, performer. Uh, a lot of people here have been to many shows at Red Rocks over the years. Yes? Yes? Okay. I'm going to count down from three. I'm going to video this so my eight followers on Twitter can see this later. This is going to be so cool. What I want you to do is when I count three, I want you to scream out the name of your favorite concert that you've ever seen at Red Rocks. And this is going to be amazing. Are you ready? One, two, three. Yes. You guys nailed it. Thank you. I want to introduce another uh, performer. You're, you're not going to believe this kid. This kid is amazing. The fun, the power of music. Our next artist likes pizza, skiing, and math. He's a fifth grader from Parker. Last year, while he was stuck at home, he performed online for a charity that raises scholarship money for young musicians. His full name is Raditya Mulgiati, but let's call him Rad. Rad, come on out, young man. 
This guy's amazing.
Red. Red. Yeah, do you have a second? Your, your adoring public wants to know a little bit more about you. Right? Very good. What are you, uh, I'm, I'm just guessing, I, I do have a son of my own, you are 32. I'm 11. 11 years old? Holy! How did you, how did you know, Rad, that this was going to be like, a thing for you, this piano? Well, um, when I was four, I started playing the piano, and um, I entered a competition, and then I started getting more serious into it, and I think I found my talent here. <laughs> I agree, Rad. What, el what else do you like to do? I mean, how, how often do you practice every day? Well, um, I try to get in around two or more hours of practice every day. And, um, but with schedule conflicts, sometimes I get a little more or a little less. So, yeah. I think you can get by on a little less sometimes. You're, you're a phenomenal young man. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. It's rad. Star of the future. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Fantastic. It is shaping up to be a beautiful night, is it not? It is lovely. We really lucked out with this. So uh, we're getting closer and closer to the 8 o'clock howl. I hope you're ready for that. That's going to be fun. COVID may have changed the way kids went to school this past year and how they learn, but the music has never stopped. And things have changed when it came to competing, and uh, this next group is a real winner when it comes to competition. Tonight, representing Longmont, beautiful Longmont, is a drum line ranked in the top 15 in the United States. Wow. Even though they couldn't travel to world championships this year, they did get to compete online. Red Rocks, please welcome the Longmont High School drum line. Wow.
Welcome. Keep an open eye and a keen ear as we explore these curious creatures of habit. Follow closely as we witness the many ways they have learned to adapt to an ever-changing environment. Listen carefully as they demonstrate the ability to communicate over a great distance. Now, sit back and enjoy Creatures of Habitat. journey, let's listen in as our travelers pause to rest in their roaming sanctuary. night falls, we bid farewell to our curious new friends. We do hope you have enjoyed this presentation, and the next time you visit the forest, listen closely for the distant rhythm of the Creatures of Habitat.
Let's hear it for Longmont. Thank you. Wow, it was like it was like Cirque du Soleil. So cool. Hey, we're getting closer to the eight o'clock howl, so I hope that your uh, voices are ready for that. Thank you again for joining us, 80th anniversary of Red Rocks. A lot of beautiful artistry transpiring on the stage tonight. There are hundreds of musicians who could have been on this stage tonight when the Red Rocks crew began checking around for people who are talented and who have made an impact during COVID. Rico Jones's name came up more than once. A Denver native who's been playing saxophone since he was 11. Wow, he should uh, work with that rad guy we saw a few minutes ago. And he's performed internationally. He spent a lot of time in New York, but Denver is lucky to have him here. Last summer, Rico had these front, front porch concerts in his Sloan's Lake neighborhood. It grew and grew and grew. Rico has brought some friends tonight, and like others before him tonight, he could be playing anywhere, but he's kept the music playing right here in Denver, Colorado. So I think we're about ready for Rico Jones. Please welcome them. Hey, Rico. Testing, testing. Hey everybody, how you doing? We are Countercurrent. That's Braxton Khan on the drums. Alex Heffron on the guitar. Hunter Roberts on the bass. Tom Amend on the keys. This first one we're gonna play for you is called Tagra.
Thank you so much. We're countercurrent. We're going to take a short break so we can do the howl. Oh, I think, there we go. Hey, you guys, we're back, and uh, Rico Jones is going to be back, too. It is time for that special part of the night, the 8 o'clock howl. This originally started as a way to acknowledge the frontline workers risking their lives to keep us going during the pandemic. I want you to meet Bryce Mayuro. Hi, Bryce. And Chelsea Ochoa. Hello there. Hello. They put together, listen to this, a Facebook group that reached 100 countries and 600,000 Facebook fans, all from Capitol Hill and Denver. Why did the two of you decide to start the howl? Well, I think that we started this howl because at that moment when we were all so isolated, we all realized how much we all need each other and we need to take care of each other. It was a really hard time for everyone to feel so separate. And I think that the reason why we got through all of this is because we all learned how important it is to take care of each other. Like every single person in this audience needs to be taken care of sometimes. And that's true for all of us. That's true for everybody, everyone even down to the people experiencing homelessness on our streets in downtown Denver. We all have to take care of each other. And that I think is the kind of the heart of what we were doing was just making sure that people were connecting to each other and not feeling so alone. Were you surprised by how it caught on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were, we were very surprised. We, we um, had a friend, Ocean Tetro, who told us how um, in Topanga, California, every night at sunset, there was a group of people who would howl at sunset. And we were like, maybe we can get a few friends doing it. But turns out March of 2020 was a good time where people really wanted to get outside and howl, and it really took off. And as you said that, it's 8 o'clock. It's time for the howl. Please it's time lead to us. howl. Let's, please lead us in the howl. All right. Let's three, two, one. Oh! That was beautiful, thank you. Never gonna experience a moment like that again on stage, that's for sure. Thanks everybody, this has been the best. There's still more to come though. Yeah. We're not finished. Thank you, Chelsea, thank you, Bryce. I think that uh, we're gonna have Rico, we're gonna play some more. This, uh, let's keep going. Here at the 80th anniversary of Red Rocks. We have one more for you this evening. Uh, this last one is an original as well. This one is called Don't Wait for the Moment.
Tom Amen on the keys. Braxton Khan on the drums. Alex Heffron on the guitar. Hunter Roberts on the bass. My name is Rico Jones. Thank you so much. We are Countercurrent. If you dug what you heard this evening, we'll be playing at Sloan's Lake from 6 to 8.30 p.m. this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Rico Jones. Thank you so much. The music continues here at the 80th anniversary of Red Rocks. I hope you guys are feeling okay. It's nice to be here at night, isn't it? Things get dark. It just feels fantastic. Uh, coming up next, these kids are from the same neighborhood as Rico Jones, and uh, they've done a lot of work, too, with the pandemic shows, a different side of education. They're the Colorado Conservancy for the Jazz Arts. They can teach music, but the passion shows itself in the playing for their friends and their neighbors. And it comes from the heart, the Colorado Conservancy for the Jazz Arts. Please welcome them.
How's it going, Red Rocks? Everybody make some noise. We represent the Colorado Conservatory for the Jazz Arts, and we're so, so honored to be here with you tonight. Let me introduce the band real quick. That was a tune by Roy Hargrove called A Day in Vienna. On trumpet, we have Koki Renwick. On saxophone, we have Jonas Schaffler. On guitar, we have the wonderful Mr. Jack Kewling. On drums, we have JJ Mazza. And my name is Liam Gallagher. Thank you so much for coming out. This next tune is called Fried Buzzards. And Ethan Frank.
Nice. Colorado Conservatory for the Jazz Arts, ladies and gentlemen. Stellar. Wow. Thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight. Uh, I want arts and venue staff to know that they want to take a photo when everything is finished, so please meet here down front by uh, these microphones over here, I suppose. Coming up next, you know, we started out with that fantastic bagpipe group, Big Band Sounds, might have been popular when Red Rocks opened in 1941, but the band that closes us out tonight is really, really big. It's another group, they work so hard, only to have travel dreams put aside, but on inauguration day, the De Evelyn High School marching band took part in the parade across America, and they did it virtually. It's not the same as marching through Washington, but it's not a bad place to play virtually. Tonight, we invite you to cheer, march, and sing along with Denver's De Evelyn High School Marching Band. Thank you.
Yes, to Evelyn, marching band, amazing! Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I think we must have set a record for the number of people on stage. And everybody take care. We'll see you back here this summer at Red Rocks. I know that they want to take a picture, so good night. <laughs>